Right now, it's illegal for anyone in Florida to use a silencer while hunting, but that could soon change. The Florida Wildlife Commission will consider this week whether to repeal the long-standing ban. Our Adam Weiner is live in Tampa to explain how people are reacting to the possible repeal of this ban. Adam? Well, anytime we talk gun control, there are strong emotions on both sides and a lot of opposition. But hunters we spoke with today say that when they go into the woods, a little noise suppressant would go a long way in actually keeping them a lot safer. Is it about saving ears or is it about saving lives? Genuine fear and concern from Angela Williams, the aunt of a man shot to death in 2003. My biggest worry is they do legalize it and they get in the wrong hands. And the head of the gun safety committee for the League of Women's Voters in Florida tells the Sun Sentinel if neighbors don't hear gunshots in the area, how are they going to know to stay out of the way? I don't really think that's a problem. I'd be more concerned in a residential area about where my bullet might go rather than how loud it was. Lee Martin, shopping at Shooter's World in Tampa today, has been hunting for about as long as the ban on silencers has been around. The only reason he could think of for a silencer is to avoid scaring the wildlife. I've been hunting over 55 years, and I don't think I can ever think of an occasion where... I said, gosh, I wish I could have killed two instead of one. The FWC points out silencers or sound suppressors won't completely eliminate the noise from a shot. Just muffle it so it doesn't hurt a hunter's ears. There's a lot of people that are actually hunters that if you talk to them over the course of the years, they have actually suffered hearing loss because of their firearm going off while they're participating in hunting. Silencers are outright banned in just 11 states in the U.S., according to the FWC, with most already allowing silencers for most types of hunting. Lee Martin and many others we spoke with today say they're unlikely to start using a silencer just because the FWC says it's okay. I'll choose not to use one. For someone else that wants to use a silencer, that's okay. The FWC is scheduled to vote on this repeal ban on Thursday. And of course, to get a silencer, those are still federally regulated. You'd have to go through a thorough background check to get one, no matter how FWC votes. Live in Hillsborough County, I'm Adam Weiner for ABC Action News. Back to you.